Hey, welcome back to the homestead. We're just taking care of some chores at the chicken coop, topping off the deep bedding there. Um, as you saw before, it was uh, pretty poopy, so I went ahead and topped it off. It had been over a month, um, and then refilling their feed, and that led me over to the chicken yard where the compost is at. Um, yeah, so just shredded up that bag and threw it in here. So we got this compost going pretty good. This is kind of the one we're adding to on a daily basis. Um, and then the middle one, chickens went in there and flattened it all out in a dust bag, so I'll probably have to mound that up again. And then this is the active one that went hot and was smelling like ammonia um, a few weeks back. So it's cooled off. It's running about 70, which is like a little more than just the ambient temperature right now. Um, so not sure if I should water it or turn it again or what, but yeah, I'll definitely, I'll definitely water it today and see if anything changes, but you know, I'm not really sure uh, how hot, how long they stay hot for anyways, I'll have to look that up, but it went hot, um, you know, 130, 140 for at least, I would say at least five days, um, and then it slowly cooled off, so keep an eye on that, and um, let's see, now we're going to head over to the orchard and uh, prune up a couple of trees that got damaged, um, and we'll check out the rest of the orchard kind of so we'll uh, head on over there <clears throat> on the way we'll just check out some of this uh, winter garden real quick this is the kale coming in really good um, then over to the broccoli section and so we've been at war with the gophers we did eliminate like two or three from this particular area there might still be one left um, they're just giving us a really hard time and here's our alliums, uh, garlic and onion, and then the leftover potatoes that just kind of came up on their own. Just figured we'd let them go. Um, so winter, winter bed is coming in pretty strong. Um, other than the damage from the gopher, we did lose some. Um, so that's good. And we haven't had any frost yet. Um, so it's not, it's not too rare to go this far without a frost in this part of the um, stay here but it's funny to watch uh, other homesteaders and youtubers and talking about uh for heavy frost or you know three four days in a row of frost and we're just haven't even had that yet um we haven't had any rain either so it's basically like an endless fall over here for us all right so we made it to the orchard this is that tree that a gopher bit at its roots and caused it to fall over it does feel sturdy now so you see i staked it in i just used a broken shovel handle because so that's what was nearby um, it does feel sturdy it's fully gone dormant so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, prune this one up at this point uh, because well i want it to be a little less top heavy and hopefully if there's strong winds um, it'll do better and hopefully it'll just root in harder without having to support so much branch. So we're gonna go ahead and get into that. All right, so I'm gonna do my best to hold a camera in one hand and shears in the other hand, and we'll see how it ends up. Um, but I'm not looking to do anything too crazy. I like the shape of this one, um, as is I like it pretty much for the most part. So I'm gonna do stuff like take this one out that's crossing into another one. So that's gone. And this one too, it's kind of just popping up, um, not in a great direction. So take that off. Um, same with this, it's in the middle. We want to open up this middle area for that kind of goblet formation. Um, let's see, I may as well take this little one off here. Um, so not gonna do anything too crazy here. Gonna take this off, so that's not really doing much for us except getting in the way. Um, so yeah, you see the middle's pretty open now. Um, basically gonna just kind of even out the branch growth now. Let's see, no, we don't wanna zoom in, zoom out. Um, so even out the tips kind of, so this is the tallest tip right here. And just gonna take it back to uh, a bud that's pointing away from the middle because this will be the one that shoots off the growth. So I'm just gonna cut right back there. That'll send growth this way and it'll keep the shape we like. Um, let's see here. 
Then we've got this one's going out a little lengthy. Let's take it back to uh, this. If we take it back to this, that'll grow out that way and should give a nice shape. And then this, I don't know what to do with. I think I can just leave it alone for now. Um, I'll just trim this one to get it, to help guide it to where we want it to grow. So if I go to here, this bud will grow out and away from the middle of the tree. So let's do that. It's just kind of taking the tip off there. Um, let's see here. Let's go to this. It's kind of the three main branches. One, two, and three. So this one I want to kind of train it to where I want it to go. Just kind of tuning it up really, not doing too much. Um, so let's go, if we pick that one, that'll go off that way. Or we can go to this one. Oops, let's see here. Um, we don't want it to get too lopsided. So this side's, this is further out than the other. There's not like a counterbalance this way, if you can see that. So what I'm gonna do is, let's just go here. And we kind of take some of that length out of it. Um, I think I'm gonna just call that good. Let's see, I could potentially take this off because that's kind of crossing the middle. Let's see. And, you know, you want to keep it open in there. So let's just take that off. And let's see here. One more. We'll take this off. That's going into the middle. All right, we're just going to call that good now. Um, so just took it back a little bit. Um, hopefully that'll help it reroot after it's got uh, uprooted and knocked over. And hopefully that'll be less wind blowing on it. Um, let's see. You know what? Let's do this right here. I'm just gonna trim that guy up right to here so it'll grow up that way. All right, that's gone. All right, now we're gonna go over to the apple tree. Um, so yeah, there's the finished product. Just a light pruning. Um, hopefully it'll be, yeah, easier for it now to reroot after that damage. So then this is the one that got dried out in a hot, a uh, heat wave in like September and I replanted it. And it's not really done great. Look, a gosh, gopher right there. So I'm just going to trim this back so that it <clears throat> has less wind uh, resistance as we get into the stormy part of the year. Um, so as far as the apple tree pruning, uh, you know, I don't really know the exact protocol here, but I'm just going to basically trim back a lot of these lengthy ones. Um, so the middle's open, you know, it's more of a center stock and they're coming off the sides as opposed to like that goblet on the uh, peach tree but yeah let's just get into it so let's go here and this will go off that way and let's go over here uh, find the right bud let's go to this one whoops sorry hard to do uh, hard to hold a camera and trim it up but We'll just see if you guys can see much of what I'm doing here. Um, let's see this. What do I want to do here? What do I want to do? All right, we want it to grow out and away, so we'll go to that. And let's go. See, this is a long one. This isn't going to help with the wind and storms coming up, so let's take it back quite a ways. Let's go here. Oops. There we go. Same thing on this. Let's go here. And another long one will go here. So we're kind of just trying to keep an even shape on it. This is a real long one. This has a, this stick's gonna cross into others. So this is going completely. And then this will go, see how that works. The cool thing is I've got, about 19 trees, so if I mess one or two up, you can take it as a learning experience. Let's go here. Um, and you just gotta do it, and you just gotta learn as you go, basically. And you know, I, I read up about what to do on an apple tree, so it's not like I'm just completely winging it. Um, 
let's cut that. Let's see, if we cut that, it'll go straight up from there. Now let's go back down to about here. Yeah, so don't be scared to prune trees because you got to do it or they'll just get completely out of control. Um, but remember, I want to say this because we've got citrus here too. Citrus trees you do not prune. They're best left with a completely full canopy. Um, so you don't want to prune them. They want sun protection on the trunk. Same with the avocado. Um, but you know, you can prune them for height, you can kind of work that in. But as far as like pruning like you do on these apples, peaches, apricots, do not take this over to and apply it to a citrus or avocado. That's a disaster. All right, we're gonna go right here. Just take that top off. And then this one, let's just go back to here. All right, well, I've done a bit, quite a bit. It's smaller for sure. I don't wanna take too much off and stress it. Let's go to here. All right, it's pretty even. Um, this is long and sticking out here. I don't know if that's helping or hurting anything. Um, let's just take that bottom part off. And let me see if there's anything I don't like. And I think kind of overall looking good. And yeah, this does have a stake in it because without the stake it wouldn't even sit up. You know, this thing might even not, this might just be dead, but look at it. It might be dead, but whatever. I'm just gonna try this and hope for the best. Um, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and please give a big thumbs up. And remember, next to the subscribe button, you can hit the bell button, and that will get you an email the second we upload a new video. Um, so thanks for checking this one out, and we'll catch you next time. See ya.